last for you uh, game between MC Jim and Kirby. Kirby is also known as the British on uh, the ESOC forums. I am of course Ida Holland aka Mark and uh, I've been a member of ESOC from the beginning actually and uh, have casted a lot of uh, tournament games lately and tomorrow um, I'm also going to cast some tournament games so um, yeah, just uh, this is just a small practice for fun, and uh, yeah, they are fun players to watch. I hope so. Uh, we're gonna see. Um, what do we have here? I quickly need to enable my minimized UI. It does look like uh, the UI from ASAMC is not working. Oh, it is now. Okay, just going to fix that later on then. Um, first I'm going to introduce the players real quickly. This is Kirby, also known as the British, uh, playing as Portuguese in the color red. And on top of the map we have the British, uh, well, <laughs> the British civilization, not playing. Uh, the, the guy who is playing is MC Jim, uh, he's a Dutch guy and he's playing in the color blue. And uh, yeah, I think this is a real fun matchup because of the buffs uh, Portuguese got on EP. Uh, they've become a lot better, and uh, maybe they can stand up against uh, against uh, British now. And they couldn't really do that before. Uh, Portuguese wasn't really a good civilization, but uh, nowadays it might be able to do that. Uh, so quickly going to fix the UI here uh, if I'm able to do that actually Anyways, uh, what do we have? Um, Kirby going for a trading post immediately, very interesting. Um, of course really good to have a trading post um, as Portuguese, especially once you uh, reach Fortress Age, the shipments become uh, a great source of uh, resource income. Um, but in Tadam, he will have to defend this. Um, I don't expect British to rush or anything, so yeah, I think it's a good decision to have this trading post here. Um, they have picked up a few treasures. Uh, worth noting is the 70 XP for MC Jim, which means his first shipment, uh, three villagers, will be arriving quicker. And uh, the British has picked up 75 coin, which is going to help him for his first um, batch of hussars or for aging up quicker. Uh, he has some treasures in his base it seems a few coin treasures what do we have here 70 food 70 coin also really nice 60 wood especially nice for for uh, the british civilization and it's real close to his base so i imagine he will pick it up later on uh, 70 food and we have a coyote pup and we see uh, M mc jim or mac jim you want is actually picking up these beaver treasures from the British which uh, well, it doesn't really matter that much because <laughs> one of them is 10 coin and the other one is 20 coin so that's 30 coin in total but he still lost it for basically nothing he could just easily get this villager to walk over there and pick it up uh, or just get it at the start of the game with your explorer um, he is picking up 70 food definitely going to help him for his age up and I'm going to quickly see what else I could be changing to um, get my UI fixed. Uh, I'm not quite sure why it doesn't work. Well, anyways, we would just just do it without the uh, UI. Uh, MC Jim making a forward manor house, um, and that is probably because he either wants to get some map control uh, by building a barracks here, maybe. Um, and doing a more aggressive strategy or he just wants the line of sight of this manor because you see you have, you have this huge cliff here in the center and uh, he wants to hunt this of course and when he then builds a manor house here then 
uh, it's really hard for Red to sneak in any military units this way uh, without being spotted. I mean, he, he can go at the edge of the map, but um, if MCGM decides to put a manor house here, uh, he will also be spotted. And here there's the forward manor house. So really uh, good for him. Um, a forward stable actually coming up. Uh, really interesting. Uh, of course, usually um, you see a stable more in the back of your base because because once it's lost, um, well, it's it can make a huge difference if you cannot spend all your resources. But of course, he does have the outpost, so it won't go down uh, that quickly. And he's of course going to make some hussar, uh, either to raid very hard. Um, or maybe uh, he will add in a barracks or two later and try to play it out in colonial age. We see the second town center for the British coming up. Uh, a bit far away from his main base. So he's not really uh, going all defensive. He's going to try to secure this hunt. And I do like that. Um, on this map there are not a lot of hunts. So you really have to secure what you have. Uh, and as you can see on the right side of the map there is really not a lot of hunt. There's only this one but it's way too far from his town center. So I like that he uh, wants to protect this hunt. On the other hand he could... Oh yeah he's hurting it. Okay that's good. Um, <coughs> and once again from a British civilization you don't expect too much pressure I mean there are 5 SRs coming in but there's probably not going to be like 30 musks already um, on this town center so I like that uh, the town center is a bit farther away and not in his base he's going to lose a villager here um, because of those 5 hussars um, he also is targeting 2 different hussars as you can see the 2 of them are damaged um, and he should not do that he should just totally focus on one hussar uh, 600 wood now coming up. for some reason I do see the notification on top of my screen 600 wood now coming up and with that he might be uh, adding a barracks we see um, the British explorer going down uh, which is of course not really good for him also this explorer has a spy glass uh, because it's a Portuguese explorer and that's a good mechanic for Portuguese to see uh, what he's up to. There are 5 SRs out now. It looks like they're going to for a raid, but they might be able to catch these and they might actually be able to win uh, if my quote correctly because uh, the blue lost a bit of HP. Oh, he's not going in. Why not? He should totally go in. I feel. Um, he could win this. I'm not quite sure if the HP difference. This does um, definitely matters, this HP difference, because it would mean he needs like uh, three less hits to die and that could make the difference so I would like to see the British actually uh, trying to catch this I mean not so close to the outpost and to the stable but when he was here he should totally do, do that you see them both um, try to figure out whether to attack or not and now MC Jim is totally going for it with a tennis horse and he actually getting them all Oh, this is huge. Oh, there are a few more coming for him, for the British, but he's only got 9. And MC Jim got 10 out, so uh, the British definitely does not want to take this. I would like to see um, MC Jim either arrest some more villagers or try to get this Hussar. Um, meanwhile, he was adding 700 with gold, and I would imagine he's going to age up with that, because he does not have a barracks yet. 600 with gold coming for him, and now the battle is finally coming and if the British wants to take this he really needs to micro very correctly or maybe even at Minuteman because uh, MC Jim does have uh, one more Hussar um, and here are the Minutemen coming a bit late but still it looks like the British is winning this very convincingly um, I don't know really what what went wrong in the micro here because MC Jim could have won this or at least uh, well have, he could have been more efficient in his trade. I mean, there are six SR left. Or did I not see another batch coming out? I don't think so. I think it was 10 SR against 9. So, uh, MC Jim did leave one behind. I'm not quite sure. Um, it could be a batch of one SR, or we could have uh, left one behind. And that's, of course, not really what you want. Now, these three SRs are going to catch this one, maybe. 
looks like they are getting away. The tower is shooting at the minute men and picking them off one by one. This is our very clever. Taking out all these low HP minute men. They have got one HP left and this is our I mean one is is not really going to make a difference anyway. So he decides to take down all the minute men. I mean the tower could have done that maybe, but definitely uh, a clever, clever thing here. Um, it is uh, said that he lost his Sussar. If it were only the Minute Men, it would have been better. But now these three Sussars did uh, catch that last Minute Man. And there's finally the Barracks coming up. I assume he's already aging right now. Uh, I assume they both are. But 700 food coming out. He does have a Barracks. He might just go for full Musk Hus here instead of aging up. I would like to see Portuguese aging. Of course, get another Town Center. Maybe he can put the Town Center either here or maybe on top here with the other Hans in the Mines. I'm really uh, interested to see what he uh, what he does. Um, we see MC Jim idled here for a bit. Um, a lot of villagers inside his town center because he doesn't really have military units to defend himself, right? And now there's they are coming in again. Five is start. Well, one of them is at 14 HP, and one of them at at even le at. 100 HP so he should be able to take that out fairly quickly maybe even uh, with his villagers oh seven longbowmen coming out right under the town center and now he's using his villagers to defend a little bit which is really good I would like to see them go in melee and not use their range attack but of course these longbowmen should have popped out on the tower because there are already muskets here and now he doesn't he only got five uh, longbowmen left he does have a bit of a sar now um, so he only lost two longbowmen, but once again, if he just popped those longbowmen out here, he would, wouldn't have lost any longbowmen. Um, you see here, Portuguese in, indeed going for the place where I was expecting him to go. Um, a bit of on the defensive side, I feel like he could maybe take a bit more map control and really try to deny some hunts from MC Jim. Uh, now he's going to get this entire hunt and this one. Um, and we see the British hunting this one towards his town center. Meanwhile, MC Jim is going nine musketeers. Okay, he's really going to push now. It looks like um, trying to take out this out um, this trading post. And I think that's a good idea. He could maybe have done that earlier with his five musketeers, but of course now he has a big army, so uh, he can really take this down. And I would like to see them both uh, build a more bit more training posts like this one for MC Jim and this one for uh, the British is definitely an easy one to take five goons coming in but of course against these musketeers and longbowmen they're all really going to uh, to die L lol he says well it's not really that lol um, I mean those musketeers are just going to shaft those dragoons um, so only like yeah t effectively two of them uh, get away. He does have a few Casadors. Uh, adding in another stable and another barracks. So I think I uh, we will see a thousand coin being shipped next. So we can just spam out units because you don't need four production facilities if you don't have the, the resources to actually make units out of them. So Falconet's coming out out of the tower for MC Jim, trying to siege down that market, and he's going to succeed in that. But after the market, it's probably going to be this house and then this house but after that he's going to go on the stable so that's why I always say build your uh, production facilities and especially your stable and artillery foundries build them in the back side of your base like here I mean they would never get get destroyed there but this is more like outside his base if he if these falconets are standing here thousand coin coming like I said uh, if these falconets are, are here the town center won't be even be able to hit them so <coughs> Looks like I'm quite on point with my predictions. Going for the house first, and we will see what he's going to do next. Um, I think it would be the best idea for him to, to just go on the stable. LOL, he says again. Uh, again, not quite sure what is LOL here. Um, if there are like 10 goons coming out, and, and 10 casadors, and maybe even 2 organ guns or, or mamelukes, I don't know. Uh, he might be able to hold this, but until then, it's really hard to push in these falconets. Um, if he does have like 10, 10 uh, goons coming out of here, along with the, the few that he has left, he can totally snipe a lot of these hussars, and maybe if falconets, just if he comes from this side, you see. Uh, come on, he's saying, or maybe it's an abbreviation for cannon. Um, but we see here indeed taking down the stable, and uh, yeah, definitely very interesting. Um, 
what he's going to do next. I, I really don't think uh, the British should wait very much longer because after this table, the oh, two coverings coming down. Oh, that is really a good decision. I mean, it is maybe a bit late, but he still has a stable left. I hope uh, MC Jim does not have it spotted yet. And yes! There it's going. Uh, first 1000 wood coming for MC Jim. And very nice, the Dragoons blocking the Hussar. The Goons are um, really dying quite quickly to these Musketeers and Longbowmen. But both of the Falconets are down. And both of the Fulcarins uh, are still standing. I'm really interested to see what MC Jim is going to do. Yes, he's totally going to push in. I think that's the right decision. Going to deny 1000 resources. I mean, he did lose his Falconets, but. Because he lost his coverings, they both really lost the same amount of resources, right? And um, now MC Jim totally going to push in, but a lot of more uh, Cassadors and Goons have appeared. Um, I think MC Jim is totally going uh, to be fine handling this. Um, he can totally uh, get another batch of Minutemen out though, and he should do that uh, if MC Jim decides to push in even further. Uh, looks like he won't. He the British still got 8 goons left and about 15, no, up about uh, 10 Cassadors um, to kite the Musketeers. Uh, so MC Jim is going back. Um, he's still uh, much ahead in score and even trying to secure this hunt with a town center. Um, which is really interesting to see because it, it looks like the map is divided along this line, you see. Uh, and not not the line you would normally expect but we see here uh, the British having a lot of map control of course he's going to get raided by these five hussars he should see it on time otherwise he's going to lose even more villagers it's now only going to be two villagers and maybe a third one but we see MC Jim smartly going there because he knows this town center is very much isolated uh, well here are there are a lot of production facilities but um, this is a really a much better place for him to push on, also because there are a lot of hunts nearby and the trade route where uh, this town center does have no resources around it, only this mine here and a few berries. But this town center um, has a trade route and even some more hunts up here and this town center is just much closer to his base. So um, a good uh, decision by MCGM to try to push out here. I would like to see him use his army more, he's got a score advantage and a military advantage. Um, but if he lets uh, the British boom, he might not keep that advantage. But on the other hand, the British is going on mills, which really means he's going to get a foot slower than the British, and also needs to chop 400 wood before he can even start gathering slower. Uh, where on the other hand, MC Jim is trying, is going to take this hunt and maybe hurt it a little bit upwards. I hope he will do that. He's got an entire hunt here. He's got uh, a part of a hunt here, and he can secure this one. You can even take this one. So the, it will be like 10 more minutes because <laughs> before MC Jim is going on mails, um, and that is really going to hurt the British. And I, at this point, I don't think there's much the British can still do to get back in the this game. Uh, this is just a very good composition. Hussar and Musketeers and even a few Longbowmen uh, mixed in. And it's really going to be hard to um, defeat this military composition at this time. Uh, maybe if he does some shenanigans with, with uh, organ guns and, and Dragoons or organ guns and halberdiers or something, he might be able to do some surprise attack and, and take out his batch of infantry, but I don't think he will be able to gather even the gold for that. Uh, we do see this Hussar out of position, uh, going to be taken down by this, those dra Dragoons, but at this point it doesn't really matter because MC Jim just has so much stuff. Um, and yeah, that is going to mean only one thing. Oh, no, that was not going to mean that thing. I mean this one. Well, I don't know. I mean the one with Ryan saying attack. Anyways, um, here MC Jim's going in, just totally ruling over the British with uh, much more stuff. And uh, GG is called, well, actually it's called everything good must come to an end. Which is of course true. Uh, it was a nice game. And definitely interesting. Um... Yeah, I would say, but I would say uh, the British had a good fight with the Hussars earlier on. So, uh, but of course, the 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 push 
uh, from MC Jim after that was really in his favor and because of that he won the game uh, yeah he did just didn't have food he didn't uh, have enough map control to get his food and yeah we can see that here also um, and maybe the food we see just this is really uh, <coughs> this really shows he only gathered uh, 2000 food in the last like four minutes and that's just garbage only food and two thousand food so uh, that's the same as in h1 as you can see um anyways military unit population where do we see that first hussar battle yeah we do see that here looks like 10 hussar against nine and oh he did make a few more he made four more here uh, but on the other hand, MC GM lost 9, so... Yeah, definitely uh, a good fight by the British there. And... Uh, that... Uh, is uh, one point to MC GM, I would say. 